it's sad to admit that Windows 10 is officially dead. Microsoft a couple weeks ago stopped support for Windows 10 mostly, which means you're having to move to Windows 11. There's been a couple of big versions of Windows 11 since it came out back in 2021. We've had five major releases of Windows 11 now, so let's see really which one is the best and also should you even consider moving to Windows 10 or just sign up for an extended support or try and get LTSC? Now, I'm not going to recommend this, but I'm going to be completely honest. You can 100% run Windows 10 still, especially for the next little bit. Without security updates, you are most likely going to be fine. But if you're doing banking, crypto, any of that stuff, move to something where you're getting security updates frequently just so that you don't lose everything. Which Windows is the best? That's really all we're here for. I have optimized Windows 10, the most latest version that I could get from Microsoft, Windows 11 23H2, and Windows 11 25H2, which was just recently released a few months ago, all the exact same way using my Windows 11 optimization pack. I have a video, I'll link it down below in case you're interested. And now we'll just be seeing what performs the best. Now, the reason why I picked these Windows versions was I picked Windows 10 just because it is officially done. You should be upgrading most likely just to see what kind of the performance is now and if there is any benefits to still staying. I picked 23H2 because 21H2 and 22H2, which were in 2021 and 2022, are basically all the same. 23H2 just did get you a little bit better mouse polling with high like 8K Hertz mice. And also this version got what was kind of backported, the branch optimization scheduler that does help benefit CPUs like my 9800X 3D. 24H2 and 25H2 are actually on a different kind of code and backend, so they do run a little bit different and it's supposed to allegedly help CPU performance, especially on AMD CPUs. Which is funny because the entire big deal with Windows 11 launch back in 2021 was that it was made for eCores and made for Intel. Anyways, we are testing five games. Those are Cyberpunk 2077, Counter-Strike 2, Battlefield 6, Fortnite, and Black Ops 6, all at 4K. Cyberpunk 2077 is an ultra with no DLSS. Everything else is 4K low. Why 4K? Well, that is what my monitor is and my PC as a 9800X 3D and an RTX 5090. To be honest, all of these games besides Cyberpunk are CPU bound, which is what I want to be. And that's what we're testing really with this competitive advantage. So let's get right into it and let's see what kind of performance each of these OSs gives. Starting out here with Cyberpunk 2077, once again at 4K Ultra with no upscaling. I'm going to say this is basically a tie okay windows 11 might have an extra fps like these are all the same it's margin of error if you played this game it's going to be the exact same for everyone so this is a tie for all of windows versions counter strike 2 this is cpu bound and kind of what i expected with windows 11 25h2 actually having the better lows which is what i care about more this is in the workshop map by the way but with the averages also kind of being around the same, okay, technically 23H2 wins. It has that higher 671 average FPS, but I would happily take 13 more FPS in the lows just to get, like, that's going to be much more important. You can ask every competitive player. There's a reason why they cap their FPS at 500 because they don't care about that average FPS. They care about the lows. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, right before Black Ops 7 drops, but as you can see, Windows 11 23H2 has the highest average FPS again, but, which is something that was repeatable, I'm not joking, I ran all three OS's like three or four times just to see if this was real, but 25H2 wins in the lows. Once again, if I can get a 30 FPS boost in the lows and just and lose 30 FPS on average, I'm going to do that. This is going to be a much smoother experience with 25H2. It's going to feel much better. This is what you want to do. So 25H2 comes out with the win again. Battlefield 6 and 4K low. This is in some community map that I saw someone use, so I decided to use it. It's like FX3W is the code, but as you can see, 25H2 once again with the win. I don't know what's up with 23H2's weird 0.1% low. 
Um, that could just be something, but it was repeatable for all my runs. That was exactly what I got. So maybe just something weird with who knows what. Um, Battlefield's also a new game, so maybe it just doesn't want to support the older Windows 11 versions. That could always be it. But 25H2 is once again a win. Now, Fortnite is where it gets a little bit weird. This is in 4K performance mode, so the new performance mode, which is DirectX 12. And 25H2, I couldn't even get Epic Games Launcher to install. It kept giving me an error. I tried to run in, run in Administrator running compatibility mode, disable defender, no matter what, it was throwing me an error, which I don't know why. Um, it could always just be something with 25H2. Um, just using perplexity to search. It seems like this is a common issue that can be happening, but also on my recording PC that I'm literally talking to you to right now, this is on 25H2, and I easily installed the Epic Games Launcher. So I don't know. But Windows 11 destroys Windows 10 easily. So I think that we can just say Windows 11 25H2 will probably perform about the same as Windows 11, maybe even a bit better based off other games. But there's no way to know. Just keep this in mind if you do play Fortnite. So actually in something that I never expected, 25H2 actually was good and it actually performed well. That is something I did not expect. 25H2 and Microsoft has actually been not just keeping Windows 11 the same performance, but actually improving it. Good job, Microsoft. Do I like all the AI things that you do? Absolutely not. That's not something I'm going to like be honest with. I literally was using local accounts for all of them. And because YouTube has been taking down videos showing how to use local accounts, I will not be showing you how to. But something that might be interesting to you is that the 25H2 method for getting a local account is literally the fastest way I've ever installed a Windows. And Google, if you're going to take down videos for showing how this happens, why can Google Gemini give me the answer? Just putting that out there. That's literally how I figured out what I had to type in. Also, if you want to try and download some of these older versions of Windows, here's where you can go. Just go to massgrave.dev. They will give you everything you need. But all you have to do is just hit download Windows, Windows 11. If you hit other versions, they're going to give you an os.click. This seems to be the best option. I've literally hash checked all of the windows that um, I wanted to and it seemed fun, but Windows 11. And then I hit 23H2, which actually does lose support in five days. So keep that in mind. This build, this build has the branch up the branch optimizations like backported but as we can tell it wasn't really as good um, you can literally hit this hit English and download it this is literally all you have to do it's insane if you haven't already hit the like button down below and subscribe comment down below what Windows version you are using as well as what games you're playing if you haven't already join the discord where we're constantly trying to figure out ways to maximize your gaming performance as well as you can go to chambertech.net if you want me to personally optimize your PC and I will see you guys later peace